Is it a good idea to save up for real estate using index funds? The real estate market is one of the best financial markets to trade in. Unfortunately, most new traders do not have enough money to buy into this business. Index funds can be a great way of saving up for real estate. In this video, we discuss the pros and cons of saving up for real estate using index funds. So first off, why exactly is real estate such a coveted field of business? Well, there are so many answers to that question. One of them is that unlike other markets such as the stock market and cryptocurrency market, the real estate market has so much stability. Prices of assets in this field, although subject to change, don't change nearly as frequently as prices of assets in other markets. This stability is attractive to traders. Another great advantage of the real estate market is that prices of assets tend to appreciate over time. And this is a remarkable property for any market to have. In other markets, stock prices may rise and fall with the tide of the changing market. But in real estate, even if there are price variations on a micro level, when considering the big picture, prices only ever increase. In addition to this previous point, one great thing about real estate investments is that they can serve as a stable source of income. Say you own a variety of houses, you can't move into all of them, and selling them might not necessarily be an option. So then, you can rent them to individuals and businesses to fulfill their needs. This way, you still maintain ultimate ownership of those real estate assets. However, rather than being liabilities that suck up maintenance costs, they serve as true assets, which make you money. And then, one last key reason that real estate is such a good investment is that it provides portfolio diversification. Why invest in only stocks or only crypto when there's real estate as well? But then this brings up another interesting problem about real estate. Real estate is harder to buy because the prices of the assets are generally higher than the prices of assets in other markets. As we can all appreciate by this point, real estate is a very lucrative market for traders. It has great advantages and can provide benefits for a long time. However, because of the high buy-in price, most traders simply can't get involved outright. Instead, they have to come up with inventive ways to raise the money to invest in real estate. There are so many ways of raising money, and each of these ways has its advantages and disadvantages. The most common of these ways is a loan, although this would unfavorably tie you to a bank or financial institution for several months or years. However, loans aside, people tend to use their earnings from other investments to invest in real estate. And so, this brings us back to the thesis of this video. Is it a good idea to save up for real estate using index funds? Index funds are quite hard to define. On some level, we can say that they are mixtures of stock that mimic the performance and composition of actual stock market indices. So you can think of them as a special market that is managed by a unique party that makes sure it functions just like a limited part of the wider stock market. However, unlike the wider stock market, not everyone can just buy into and influence an index fund. Just like any other mutual fund, index funds have their pros and cons. Considering the pros first, index funds are remarkably stable. This is because the portfolio of the index fund rarely changes. In addition, diversification is intrinsic to index funds, granting an extra layer of safety. When it comes to cons, the rigidness of the portfolio can sometimes hurt investors. This is because when certain specific stocks start to underperform, the index fund managers aren't just allowed to sell them. As such, you're guaranteed the success of the well-performing stocks, sure. But then, you're also guaranteed the losses of the underperforming stocks. In addition to this, the subjective nature of selection for stocks to track might be a problem. Sometimes, the fund managers don't choose well, and since their selection process is opaque, it can be quite frustrating. In any case, do index funds provide enough returns for you to use those earnings to invest in real estate? Well, the answer is complicated. Not all index funds are built the same. Not all index funds produce the same quantity or frequency of returns. So the answer to that question largely depends on the state of an individual's finances and various portfolios. Index funds are stable so you don't have to worry about losing your money in them. It's because of this stability that they're so coveted. And so, you can absolutely use them to stack money up.
Other things you need to consider are the areas of real estate you want to get into. You need to approximate exactly how much you need. Say a house you want to buy costs $100,000 today. It probably won't cost that much in five years as you wait for your index fund to generate gains. And so, you need to factor in inflation and market growth, and all of that, compared to all the other ways of raising money for real estate investments, index funds are honestly the best. All the others are either flaky or risky. And so, it just might be a good idea to save up for real estate using index funds. Just make sure you get your math and projections right. Coming to the end of this video, we hope you've learned about investing in real estate using index funds. There are so many great ways to invest in real estate, and index funds just happen to be one of them. To learn more, check out other videos on this channel. Until next time, have a great day.